Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a rainy Monday, 28th of uh, September. Quiet, quiet overnight. Um, take a quick run through these charts on what looks like to be a quiet European morning. Uh, dollar yen, first and foremost, we've been talking about core short this stuff the bull bear line or what you would call conviction line or I don't know what you want to call it or just the important point and this is still 105.20 we had that sinister move up to 70 on really nothing on Friday but now we've we gapped open you can see this is a gap open I don't even know why we gapped open but this is sort of a gappy 240 minute bar from the highs engulfing Looks like we're heading back down. Course shorts the way, add through 20. Waiting for the turn in Euro. Uh, no evidence of it yet. Super quiet. Uh, no action on the price as I'm looking at it right now. There's just nobody playing. Um, 0.2 wide in any amount you want to do. 0.1 wide on any amount you want to do. Uh, just no one's, no one's trading here. Uh, so we just have to wait and see. Um, maybe the buyers and sellers will wake up at the open, at the London Open, 15 minutes. Um, we're looking for the turn. Cable reaching a little bit higher. This is news driven, obviously. The news out of the UK is horrible, um, which ironically I think means the risk in cable is higher. Uh, a lot of people are embedded short now because of this string of bad news. Um, people need to remember that cable came from sort of 150. Now we're at 127 and all this Brexit news. Let's, let's put up the monthly chart so people can have a little reminder. Here is Brexit. Bang. No, that's not Brexit. Sorry, here's Brexit. Bang, uh, down to 120. So we were at 145. We're 20 handles below Brexit. So Brexit is kind of priced in here. Come on, it's pretty much priced in at 127. Uh, so the risk now for me is always higher. Uh, even though the news is terrible, the leadership looks pathetic. Um, careful on this higher. Three dojis in a row on the dailies. What does a doji mean? Uh, just means indecision, right? Buyers and sellers are at a, at a draw. And so once this resolves itself either back through 128 the figure or down through 126.83, you need to wake up and start paying attention. Obviously, it's closer to the top side re resolution, so just pay attention to that if you're trading cable. Squeeze higher um, is the risky side. Dollars are... I mean, how, what, what the fuck, 1680 uh, on Friday, ridiculous. And then up 45 big figures to 1726. We're above 17, which is kind of your daily, or what we were using as a daily sort of bull bear, but it's really been hysterical. Um, we do think this is going north um, before south. But you just have to recognize tactically, take your money and run. Um, holding on to this is fine. It's going higher, but the VAR has been hysterical and you have to have a small position. and um, It's not very satisfactory from like a professional level, right? Your, your VAR value at risk is, is just way too high or else you get chopped out of your position every day, which is just annoying. So be careful, dollars are. You know where we stand on this. You know where we think it's going. 20. We think it's going to 20. Um, let's see. Let's see how the day shapes up. Surely you can probably pick some of that stuff up in the 90s uh, today. Dollar max, similar chart, similar vol. Um, not looking great for dollar max, but we, we don't. We feel less strongly about the peso than we do about the rand. Aussie. Dancing around down here near the lows. No real strong view here today. Equities look kind of robust, so we may get a squeeze up uh, in Aussie. Keep an eye on gold. It's been sort of a 
good canary for the Aussie trade. Gold sitting here down at 62, 1862. Let's look at gold. We talked about this last week. It still remains the same, 1879. Um, We'll use some colorful language on Friday about uh, 79 holding and people making tea. Um, this is the number that you have to keep an eye on, 1879. Daily hourly close above that and daily close above that. We continue higher. Uh, until then, the bears uh, have control. Apple seems to be basing here a bit. Um, this is just interesting as a risk. Uh, metric uh, Apple seems to be basing Tesla does not uh, is less convincing as a base I do believe Tesla probably has more downside to it although two green days in a row here back at 407 I think you can just sell Tesla at 450 um, for the rest of the year so the offers up there yes um, you know ringing bells up here 3303 we got we got juked on uh on Friday on that move down on this move down to uh, no, this move down to thirty two oh six we had some longs uh in play around twenty five and we actually stopped out right near the lows uh which was so annoying, but it happens in this business and then bang like a really powerful up move. A little bit of vol here uh, late afternoon Friday but now we just continue higher the markets caught short we got this uh, Biden Trump thing tomorrow they're gonna throw sticks and stones at each other <clears throat> that should create some vol and should, we might get a little short squeeze going into that because the market is sort of structurally short right now so be careful um, this could continue higher ZB not doing much. We're still core short, um, but it's just sitting here sort of the top of the recent range. Annoying. Um, on Friday, we sold all threes. It's been basically, you know, figure six for, for 20 hours now, so it's not really doing too much. Bitcoin, also not doing much following stocks I have no idea why that would be the case but it seems to have a pretty good correlation I haven't actually run the correlations because they make no sense to me those those correlations but you know it's Monday morning we're gonna buy some Bitcoin uh, stick it in a basket in the bottom drawer and um, but price wise not doing anything 10,875 10, middle of nowhere uh, so just chill out crude uh, no real view here no position um, again middle of nowhere not much to say what else is out there talking to a wise old Norwegian trader over the last week and he was kind of expressing his feelings on how um, his home currency is screwed just taking a look at this now well back above 11 um, watch crude but the same token watch what the central bank and the petroleum fund are doing um, if they have to continue to liquidate and change what are basically dollar based assets or foreign assets back into home currency uh, this could turn no dog in the Norwegian fight right now we played a lot of that earlier in the year obviously with dollar Norway um, but right now we're just watching BTPs finally a red day um, what we consider like the most overvalued market there is out there BTPs yielding 85 basis points is just dumb looks like we have a top up here it's not a quadruple top because this is a different contract but this December contract move here oh my lord is stupid uh, we like core short BTPs that's about it as you can see not a ton looking at to look at here um, we'll be watching gold as our canary we're watching dollar yen at 105.20 um, and if dollar yen does tilt 
will be looking for the turn in euro and dollar Swiss. But as we said, no evidence yet of any of this. We're just keeping risk light until we get a more some some evidence in price um, that this is actually turned. So patiently waiting. Good luck, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.